So I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but Shiba Inu became the most frequently traded digital asset in India. This is a place where cryptocurrency is really starting to surge. That's why this is a very big deal. Now, what this also means is that Shiba Inu was actually able to beat out both Bitcoin and Ethereum, the two largest coins in terms of market cap. And that is a big, big feat to do because they do so much volume. Now, Shiba Inu really started gaining momentum in India back when Vitalik donated 50 trillion tokens, obviously burned the rest of them, took them out of the supply. And there's really been no looking back. I've noticed a very inter interesting consistency throughout time here. And that is that I wish I had this chart here. There was a, a chart that I looked at and obviously I make content every single day. There's no way I can go back and find it, but it showed the most traded tokens in all these regions throughout the world. And the consistency that was there is Shiba Inu was typically in the top three coins as far as traded volume, traded trade frequency, right? You had BTC, you had Ethereum, and you had Shiba Inu. The other ones that rounded it out were Dogecoin and I believe XRP were the other two. Sometimes they were moved, but Shiba Inu was always, I believe it was always in the top three besides for one. I think Oceana was the one area where it was like fourth. So, but you guys get the point. This global do dominance for Shiba Inu at this time is actually quite incredible, right? Because right now it does not have the same platform that both Bitcoin and Ethereum have. It doesn't have its own chain yet. Now, this is where this market cycle is going to get very, very interesting because now Shiba Inu is starting to see the emergence of the, a layer two chain itself. It's seeing an emergence of a metaverse. There's so much more still coming. And that's what I think is starting to intrigue a lot of people about the potential for Shiba Inu. Massive burns, huge adoption outside of crypto itself, right? Again, restaurants, designers, many, many things beyond that. It's, you know, I, <laughs> I talk about this stuff all the time, but. It still just astonishes me how people aren't paying attention to what's going on. There's a big, big change here, a big shift in crypto, right? People want this functionality. They want ecosystems. And at this time, there are very few that are doing much to build this out. Shiba Inu is one of them. Cardano is another one. Okay, Cardano is building a huge ecosystem right now. Not to make this, yeah, obviously, that's the two coins I talk about, talk about the most here on the channel. But crypto is going to get very interesting. What we know, what we have known from these past market cycles is not what we're going to witness this market cycle. This is a very different time. We're getting into this, this point where we're going to start going parabolic in terms of adoption, right? We're, we're at four or 5% of the world population at this point. Very quickly, we can run the 10, 15, 20% of the world using crypto. You're going to see some things that are going to absolutely blow your mind. We're going to see corporate adoption, government adoption. It's going to be absolutely insane. So but I wanted to share that with you guys. She mean you global adoption is really beginning to take off and it's an exciting time, almost the perfect time for it to be doing this. So appreciate you guys as always show your support below. Have a great rest of your Saturday and I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.